Well, hello, Disney Connections and fellow Disney freaks. Good to see you here again for a live Saturday show. Uh, we got a lot to uh, cover I'm, today. I'm Disney Connections. Yeah, welcome to Disney. You didn't say I that. said hello, Disney Connections. You did? Yeah. No, I don't think you did. I think hey. you just said hello. I said all right, let's try it again. Well, hello, Disney Connections and fellow Disney freaks. That's exactly what I saw, said the last time. Hey, let's go ahead and get started. All right, what fun is this? This is what is this our fourth or fifth? Fourth or fifth live show. Yeah. So, uh, you know, appreciate uh, all of you being here on the live. Appreciate you on the replay. Definitely, if you uh, haven't seen the rest of our videos, make sure you subscribe. Give the videos a like. Uh, it just helps out our channel a little bit. Um, Hi, but, uh, Hey, Cook. Cook's on here. All right. Yeah, back at you, beautiful people. Um, so, uh, we're going to be live here for a little while. We've got a ton to go over. Uh, so make sure you go ahead and share this out with your friends. Let them know that we're here live. We're talking about all things Disney today. All right. With Rob. Rob. And Melanie. Melanie. At Disney Connections. We always forget yeah. to say our names, so. My name's not important. It's the connection. It's important. People like to know who they're talking to. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so we're gonna start where are we with, going? We're doing Today in History. Oh, Today in History. Here, mm -hmm. I'm just going to read it so I don't mess it up. Okay. Uh, today in History, on this day in 2006, Captain Jack Sparrow set sail on an all-new adventure in Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. That was 14 years ago. That's crazy. Is that the premiere I went to? I think it was. Dead Man's Chest. No, I think it was one after that. Nope, I'm almost sure it was Dead Man's Chest because I remember they had a big chest on Main Street. Huh. 2006? Oh, yeah. yeah. About then? Yeah. Aunt Barb took me to the premiere in Disneyland. How long did you stand on Main oh, Street? Oh my gosh. 4 a.m. We were standing on Main Street and we were, we got there super early, but we still went all the way down Main Street right in front of the castle and we stood there. From 4 a.m. till, I want to say, 8 p.m. Yeah, it was a, a long time, I remember. We just stood there, like in like little sardines, which you couldn't do these days. And then no. all the celebrities came down Main Street, and we got signatures. And by the time Orlando Bloom and Johnny got there, it was super late, and Orlando was having a panic attack. Oh, and so really? So he was like... Huddled in between these people, like breathing into a set. I don't know. So, can you imagine what he'd be doing today? Right. <laughs> and <laughs> then Johnny, he was running late because the premiere was about to start, and so he just kind of moseyed on by. We got a photo, um, no signature from him, but we did see a lot of people. Who is the the guy with the monkey? Uh, Barbosa. So he came yeah. right up to us, and he had the monkey, mm -hmm. and he signed our um, our books. I remember that. Yeah. And Carlos from Desperate Housewives. That's right. Yeah. And I yelled, Carlos! And he goes, that's not my name. Oh. Well, it was his character's name. Nice. Right? Okay. Oh, I digress. my goodness. So, we're going to talk about um, Disney news. Like, what's going on? Yeah, what is going on? What have y'all heard out there? Because, uh, I don't know, I, I try to catch a little Disney news every day. Yeah. What, what, what have you heard? Well, uh, we have some information on hotels opening in Walt Disney World. So really, yeah. that's the only um, new information they're putting out. So we let's, have go ahead dates. And, let's go ahead and yeah, show, show this. Yeah, show them the date. Uh, so this is kind of exciting. Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort, which, which is the one that we uh, like to go back to. That's mm -hmm. where we spent our honeymoon mm -hmm. just 21 years ago next Friday. Mm -hmm. And uh, so Disney Caribbean Beach opened up just a couple days ago on yep. the 29th. And uh, then August 24th. Happy birthday, Mom, by the way. Happy birthday, August 24th, Disney's Yacht They're Club Resort. They're opening just for you, Carol. 
Yeah. So hey, you Let's should book be. Let's a trip. Somebody, somebody, let her know that we're on here. What's up, David? How you doing? Good afternoon. Hey, uh, ba- by the way, afternoon. That would mean that you're either here with us in Central Time or on Eastern Time. Let us know where you're at. Um, and then uh, September twenty first, Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. October 4th, the Polynesian. I've always wanted to stay at the Polynesian. Uh, I, me every too. time we go, I go, this year we're going to stay at the Polynesian. And right. then we don't. So. And then we could do a luau. We could do a luau. I know, luau. that, that would, would be so fun. much fun. Uh, October 14th, uh, mm-hmm. Disney's Coronado Springs. And they've just been renovated. Uh huh. Yeah. And They're then right that, next to the Caribbean Beach. And then the Art of Animation. Which, November 1st. Didn't we book the Art of Animation? We did for January, yeah. and you invited the entire world to come with I us. invited, yep. uh, make sure if you want to go to Disney, check out the links, not just cruising. You can come with us. Yep. In January, we're going to be at the Art come of with Animation. Us. We're fun. Now, the Art of Animation is, is a value resort, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah. But I, I mean, from what I've seen, it looks pretty cool. And then um, we were watching another channel. And they were showing a boat ride that goes from the art of animation yeah. to get to the parks. And it's, I guess, 45 minutes long. And it's just kind of relaxing and slow. And instead of walking or taking the Skyliner, which I'm kind of yeah. excited to do. I'm a little fearful, but kind of excited about the Skyliner. I'm just excited to get back to the parks and do something. Mm-hmm. Which, you know, I think we talked about it a little bit last week. But, uh, you, you know, the idea of going to Disney right now there's there's definitely a divide Mm -hmm. yeah so you know let us know what you think in the comments Um, you know should you go right now uh, or you know should you wait Uh, we talked about it last week you know if this is like the ultimate trip that you've been planning for your entire life maybe wait because yeah. not everything is is available. There's you know definitely some restrictions. Some things aren't open. No parades. Um, no, no parades. Uh, no meet character and meet and greets. They have cavalcades where a character or three or four characters will come by on one float throughout the day. They, right. They have that. They have some characters in different locations on balconies and that sort of thing. So you'll have character interaction, just not the no hugs and autographs and and that sort of thing. Yeah, so you, you'll be missing out on some. But if you are like a seasoned Disney freak like the rest of us, you know, here, then uh, y- you might not mind. I mean, yeah. actually, I, I would love to go to the parks right now if I had a season pass or I or mean, whatnot. how many autographs of Mickey uh, do you need? Right, right. It's the same autograph every time. Yeah. Uh, oh, by the way, if you, you know, uh, got one of those checks up there in, what was it, New Hampshire? Or, oh, uh, what, wasn't it Maryland? Maryland, Maryland. Or if you got one of those checks, don't you know. don't even have to go to the parks because you might have got Mickey's signature on yeah. your uh, on your checks. Did you guys hear about <laughs> that? So apparently the tax <laughs> refund checks, they use Mickey and Walt Disney's signature to uh, practice or to make sure the signatures line up, and they accidentally printed the <laughs> practice check signatures of Disney and Mickey on like 1,200 checks I know. and sent them out. I'll they're, tell you, they're not valid. If if you're if you're signing in from Maryland and you don't know what to do with that check, I would love one of those checks. Descri- oh yeah. In the description. I don't think it was Maryland. Uh, where wherever, if you got a check with yeah. Mickey or Walt's signature on it, right? Gosh, mail that to us. We'll put our address in the <laughs> yeah. in the description below. Yeah. We'll put the PO box down there. Hey, I saw David. You're you're from Iowa, so a uh, friend of ours actually is is from up in Iowa, and uh, Dan. Dan and Stephanie. Oh. Yeah. So if you, if you know Dan and Stephanie, they live here in San Antonio. <laughs> Give us a shout. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, so, oh, um, yes. Vela, Coach Vela. Uh, no character dining. Mentioned no character dining. Yeah. Um, I did see one uh, video this week oh, where, like, beast. a character showed up. The Beast did in, yeah. in um, uh, Bell's Castle. Right. They were having lunch, and he walked through. I saw one where Donald walked through. But they what they stop. but they don't stop. They're not going to mess with you at your table. You know, you're not going to get a signature like we said. No, no handshakes, no hugs, Remember no high fives. Remember when we were at the mini uh, all you could eat? <laughs> you mean when we probably shouldn't have been? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know what? This is why you want to book your trip with us oh, because yeah. of experience. Yeah. You uh, so on this particular day we were in Hollywood Studios, mm-hmm. and um, we. 
when we were on our honeymoon, we ate at the 50s Diner, which oh, is amazing. It's probably it. our favorite place mm-hmm. to eat in Disney World is at the 50s Diner because mm-hmm. they treat you like grandma would. You know, yeah. if you're not yeah. eating your peas, they're going to come over, yeah. they're going to feed you. They're elbows gonna, off the table. Yeah. Oh, elbows off. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's no super outerwear, fun. No outerwear at the right. table. Take but the uh, but the fun thing, or I mean, the, the thing about the 50s, I mean, they're going to cook you a home-cooked, full-on meal. What did you have? So, I think I had the meatloaf. Yeah. Yeah. I had the pot roast. I think Trace had the chicken. Yep, he Yeah, did. it was like a half a chicken. I mean, it was a yeah. lot of food. It was a ton of food. And it was at lunchtime. Mm-hmm. I mean, literally, like, we're eating at 1130, right? Yeah. And then we, we had also booked, because when you go to Disney World, you, well, Disney World, you, you you know have to plan all of your reservations your yeah. your fast passes well I know it's a little bit different now and yeah. but uh, back then you had to plan it all so we went ahead and did our dinner reservation as well mm-hmm. at the all you can eat buffet yeah. in Hollywood Studios yeah, mini oh gosh I can't remember the name of it right now but Holy smokes. And it was at like five. So I remember we called Disney Dining. And it was like $500. <laughs> we called Disney Dining and I said, we were like, hey, we ate yeah. at the 50s cafe <laughs> at like one. We cannot eat right now at five. And they were super nice. They were like, well, we could do six or seven. And yeah. so we moved it. But it still, it wasn't enough time because you want to get your money's worth. So right. you just keep eating. We sat in there for like an hour and a half. But what I was getting at is the oh. characters, they come up behind you and they cover your eyes and they, like, you know, right. knock you on the head and they just do different things, but which they're not doing right now. Um, but that was my point with that story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, so um, just to plug it again, not just cruising. You know, we've got some experience. I know you probably have some experience as well. Uh, you know, and working together in partnership, we can build the best Disney vacation totally. for you. Um, Back to the hotels. There. Uh, so, I just wanted to give a shout out to Random Stuff. Hi, welcome. Nice to see you here. Yeah. So, so um, back to the hotels. The two hotels that are were not on the list that are remaining closed, they were going to open, but mm, there's been some changes, are the Disney Beach Club and the uh, Disney Boardwalk Inn. So they are not reopening, and they don't have oh. a date of reopening. So you Are they doing any remodel? Is there... I don't know. That's interesting because you know, I know should. that they've done a lot of remodel. When we were there in 2017, three years ago, mm-hmm. right? Uh, uh, Caribbean Beach was being remodeled. Yes. That was Do you a remember killer that? deal. So we got there <laughs> to Caribbean Beach and we checked in and they're like, here are your gift cards. And we right? were we were like, our gift cards. And they're like, yes, there's $500 in gift cards. And we were we were like, was that a, did I book that? Like, what? 500 What? And she was like, yes, we're very, I don't know what that noise is. We're very, cats are making noise. Yeah. We're very sorry about all the construction. Yeah. And we were like, okay. Right. I mean, we didn't even see the construction. Not when we first got there, but no. you know, when you start walking around the resort, you know, there was but who certain stays, paths and you know, whatnot. You don't stay in the resort. Um, anyway. So that's a travel tip, by the way, mm-hmm. if you're going to Disney, is it find out what resort <laughs> is under construction. And, and then book there. And then book there <laughs> uh, because there's a good chance that you're going to get some sort of benefit from Disney. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because and of it'll it. be a surprise. You yeah. don't even know. It'll be super fun. So yep. Disney Cruise Lines, no changes there from last week. They, okay. um, they're they staying firm. But I will tell you that Disney Cruise Line has been the last cruise line to, to, to postpone or suspend from all of them. They, they kind of wait to the very last minute to, to cancel their, their cruises or suspend. So um, same thing, it's Dream, Fantasy, and Wonder. Uh, September 30th will will be their first cruise out. And then Magic is October 2nd. So if you're Hopefully planning... Hopefully it's after hurricane season because yeah. I wouldn't want to cruise right now anyway. I know, I always think about that yeah. when you're... But you know what? My grandma has been in a hurricane in a ship and she said it was fine. It was fine. She said all this, the ship was rocking, all the stuff... Fell off the dresser. This was like 50 years ago. Yeah. You know, slid off the dresser, and they just held on, and she said it was fine the next day. It was good. And she's, what, 99? She's 99. 99. Yep. So, yep. yeah. Absolutely. Awesome. Uh, other cruise lines are canceling. Uh, we're getting c- cancellation notices every day, so all the way through, through January. The end of, yeah, through the end of the year. They're not picking up their cruising um, until next year. So, I'm kind of thinking Disney's going to follow suit, but... They just haven't made the decision yet. So. 
Yeah, I think I think they're just waiting to see how this all pans out, especially after school's open, which if you didn't know, both of us are teachers and we're getting ready to go back to school. I actually go back on Monday for well, my coaching duties, duties. Yeah, I had a little meeting yesterday I had to be involved in. and um, But uh, we're going back to school. Yeah. Uh, distance learning. So distance learning is going to be super fun. And, uh, you know, I, I don't – I know – we try not to get controversial on here, but I know that there's a lot of worry out there. You know, there's a lot of questions about what the school districts are doing. And there's questions that we have because as teachers, we aren't getting some of the information. But let me just give you some rest to set your mind at ease. And that is teachers are prepared. Teachers are prepared. Uh, you know, one of my models, it's on my board improvise, adapt, overcome. And that's, you know, that's what we do as teachers. We show up in the morning and, oh, there's an assembly today. Totally got to, you know, rearrange your schedule. So I'm pretty excited. I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to keep things fresh. Yeah. It's going to be new, it's be different. you know, so uh, send, you know, put your kids online um, and it's going to be a fun experience. Send, and then, a, send us a message. If yeah. you need help, we'll help you. Yeah. So, uh, and then uh, Alani, Alani, right? Which is very strange because they, they have no reopening date, but I can go into my little special um, computer yeah. program and book September. So they're going to be open, or they think they're going to be open, but they're not releasing the date. So if you ask or go online, it says, no, we're not open, but I've been able to book it. So I don't know. Yeah. They're I mean, keeping it a secret. You know, the, the key, I think, here is that if you're, you know, kind of itching to go on vacation or just want to start planning your vacation, it costs you nothing to contact us. Yeah. So you can give us a call, 210-595-1105. 210-595-1105. I was seeing if he the phone was going to ring. And uh, you can give us a call. We'll answer the phone. We'll, uh, you know, see what your dream vacation is and, and help you book that. Uh, or just plan it. I mean, let's yeah. take a look at some destinations. Let's see, you know, what your dreams are, and uh, and then as things open back up, and then and we have a we'll lot. Book it. We have a lot to get through today. So Lots. I want to talk about right. um, D twenty three. I want to talk about uh, the Disney yeah. Comic Con that just happened. I want to talk about your unboxing. You know, Rob. Oh my goodness! His <laughs> weekly goodies. I got some. Um, I got three things in the mail this week. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I want to talk about our subscription boxes that we get. So we have a lot to talk about. But Tons. real quick, back to the travel uh, adventures by Disney is the, the last part of oh, the travel yeah. I want to talk about, which is so totally awesome. If you haven't done any research on adventures by Disney, it's where you go on your adventure and you have tour guides that are um, brought to you uh, by Disney. They're storytellers. Uh, it's a lot of fun. And they do a river cruise. Adventures by Disney on on the waterways. So mm -hmm. we are super excited when that starts happening again. Those are you can't even you can't book them online. Mm -hmm. You have to call. Like there is no booking online. Uh, they're they're um, by phone only. So when those open back up in September, I'm very excited to even book our own because it just looks like a lot of fun. Courtney said if the cruise ships were still sailing that uh, we could just teach from our, our room. Our cabin. But, yeah, or the deck by the pool. Yeah, I mean, you that know. would be awesome. Uh, that would be totally awesome. Yeah, I, I've totally thought. And I think actually we're going to have to go back into school and be in our classroom. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. We don't know. It changes like hourly. So. Oh, um, Disneyland. So Disneyland's not, no dates for Disneyland reopening. Downtown Disney is still slowly opening so you can go down there and shop or eat uh, with a mask and no fever. Um, but they did release it. If you had bought... No, I was just checking to make sure the dog was still up here and not chasing the cat. Sorry. If you had bought the Star Wars um, After Dark, the Star Wars night tickets, they canceled that. That was supposed to be at the end of this month. Oh. Um, August 27th, I think. But if you already have tickets, you're good to go. As soon as they reschedule, hopefully you can go. It does, it, there won't be a conflict for dates, but your tickets will be good for the rescheduling. Not just cruising. Dot if com. not... <laughs> we can reschedule for you. If not, then they'll work with you. You just have to give them a call, which we'd be happy to do for you. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so I want to talk about Ooh. subscription boxes. Oh, my goodness gracious. Do you want to so open your subscription boxes, or do you want to talk... Let's, op let's, let's open one. 
I don't have any subscription boxes to open. No, you, the, you mean my packages? Your packages. All right. The the Melanie made subscription box. The Melanie made. <laughs> so. All right. Which one should I start with? eBay. This or one's Amazon? mine. Oh, so I guess you're gonna open that. Yeah, I'm gonna open that one. Open the box. The box. The okay. box. Yeah, so, so if you've been with us for a while, you know that um, <laughs> Rob gets a special uh, unboxing on Saturdays because all of the subscription boxes that we receive are set to my preferences, things that I would like. There's some really cool stuff in there that I would set to my preferences. Yeah, I mean, we have But I don't have similar, control of that. We have similar taste in Disney. So I get um, him a little something to open. Oh. Well, something to add to the shelf. Jim Shore. Hey, did you check out that ZV-1? If you haven't, if you need a new camera, check this out. Watch. Okay. This is going to focus on the box. Isn't that cool? That is cool. Anyway. Yeah, the ZV-1. Sony ZV-1. All right. Let's see. All right. So, if, you, if you've been watching, you know our Jim Shore collection is growing and we have uh, Alice in Wonderland characters and Dumbo characters and lots of Mickey. This is something a little different. We're, we're starting a new character collection here. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Knife safety. Knife safety. So, and he's doing a good job of cutting around the entire box so you lift the foam off straight up. And not Fine. sideways, because what happens when you open sideways? You might break part you of might, the figure. You might break a figure. A Which hand. I haven't done no. yet. No, you've been yeah. pretty good. Like a hand or a wand or a staff or, you know, something. Goodness gracious. Sorry this is taking so long. I don't know where the to tape is this. on this. I mean, it's a small box. Uh, Courtney, I hope you're still watching. You're going to be excited about this. Give us a shout out. Check this out. Out of the bag. Yay! Cool. Little Cogsworth. Oh my gosh, his little clock moves. Oh, oh, check that out. Oh, that's so cool. I like it. Do you? I do. Okay, what's it called? Do we know? Um, let's see. It's called Disney. <laughs> it might be on the box. Oh, maybe it's on the back? Oh, that's weird. Why? No. It doesn't have the doesn't little have title. doesn't have a title. Oh, Cogsworth Keeping, keeping watch. watch. That's super keeping cute. Keeping Watch. Cogsworth. Yep. That's so pretty cool. look forward to more Beauty and the Beast characters coming soon. Mm. Yeah. All right. All right. So let's talk about our subscription boxes real quick. We get three. So we get... <sighs> <laughs> we get magic at your door. Four, kind of. Well, well, one. We get magic at your door. Magic, We're paring down. <laughs> we are paring down. Magic at your door is our in uh, top two. Uh -huh. So magic and Bibbity, kind of hand in hand. We really like both of them. Magic at your door, we have a discount code for you. If you want to try it, it'll be in the description below. You get $10 off. Use Disney Connections as all one word for your code. Um, and you can try it out. But they've been great. They have lots of preferences. You can go on and choose your characters, choose the types of products that you want, uh, home, kitchen, accessories. They have lots of lounge fly. So um, <laughs> so the, the, the Magic at Your Door has been a great box. Bibbidi Bobbidi, not Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo, but Bibbidi Bobbidi, Bobbidi, Bobbidi box. Boxes or Box. They've been great too. Yeah. They have, um, I think they have a few more options as far as price points on their boxes. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit lower to start with. Um, they've been great. They have great preferences. You can go in and tell them what you like, what you don't like, what you already have. Um, they have ears. They have lounge fly. They have Star Wars. They have Marvel. They have Harry Potter, which if you've seen our Harry Potter mm -hmm. uh, Wizards Vault box, they have that. We are getting one more of those on accident. Seems yep. to happen a lot around here. And another um, accident, you'll find out. Yeah, we. And so those two, Bibbidi Bobbidi and Magic at Your Door, those would be our 
Uh, Definitely number one and two, yeah. and I, I'm and not flip. sure which they one. Flip yeah, it kind forth. of flips month yeah. for month. So we have a couple of those com unboxings coming up. So make sure to check the channel, like, subscribe, and subscribe like, hit click the, the bell. bell so you know when the uh, <laughs> when the videos yeah. pop up. So um, and then our third box that we get. Well, let's talk about Wizards Vault real quick because yeah. Wizards Vault is a bibbity bobbity box, right? So you can um, choose to get a Harry Potter themed box. We weren't super excited about the one that we received. It was great quality merchandise, but we're just not. I mean, we're Harry Potter fans, but I think that we're just not Harry Potter merchandise. Yeah, fans. Maybe that's like, it. That I think and that's what it is. They didn't really hit um, our preferences on the Harry Potter because I said no spells. I didn't want any spells. Yeah. And um, I'm a Ravenclaw. Yeah. And I didn't get any Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw. And my house pet is an owl. You did get an owl thing. I did? Yeah, there was an owl. Because remember, no. I made connection to Chi Omega. Because I said I chose an owl, but we didn't get anything an owl. No, I think we got it. No, we didn't. We got, I don't know. You know well, what? We got a go mug, back, go and back we and got a mug video. and a wallet. There was no owl. I thought there was an owl No, but there. you talked about Chi Omega, so, yeah. Anyway, um, and then our third box that we get mm, is Walt Life, which is the most <sighs> inconsistent box that we've ever gotten. We'll have one box that is amazing, all park merchandise. <laughs> Super excited. And then the next box is like Dollar Tree. Yeah. So um, Or 50 Cent Tree, if there is one. 50 Cent Tree. And last, last box, I don't oh. know. I think it was Free Tree. Free Tree. Because, <laughs> I mean. A, it was There was broken stuff. and. Now, so, you know, here's, here's like the, the PSA of the day. All right. Make sure you read all the fine print. Wait, don't talk about that. Why? Because I'm, we're going to do our video. So what he's getting Make at is... Make sure you just read fine print. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, the, the rules and the guidelines and policies. Yeah. Because Stay tuned. Stay we're tuned. Gonna, when we get our next, our final Walt Life box... Finally, the final. And you're asking why are we getting another one? We're going to explain it in the video it yeah. was not by choice, and it really Well, was... I mean, we had a choice, and we made the choice yeah. based on... Just come check out just the video in, a, the video. in a couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, So those are our subscription <sighs> boxes. Now, Main Street Treats. Yeah, this is uh, up and coming, I think. Yeah, so apparently they were a different company before, and now they're a new company. And um, they... Uh, do Main Street treats, so they go into the park and they buy the treats, and then they create these really cool boxes and they send them out. It's not really, a, it's not a subscription because you have to go each month and get the box, and they sell out fast. Which one released today? At noon uh, today, yeah. so you can go check Main Street treats and see if they have any right now. But um, they have like a coffee box, a tea box, a candied apple box, which is on hold right now because of the heat. Um, right. Yeah. So. That's kind of the one of the fun things I like about Main Street Treats is mm -hmm. the interaction that they have on Facebook. They have mm -hmm. a Facebook page. Uh, one of their founders, owners, uh, comes on and is interacting. Actually, they had a giveaway um, a while ago or a couple of days ago. That I really think I won, but it's She fine. really won it. I think so I did. So Main Street Treats, if you're checking out this video, <laughs> uh, <laughs> go back into the comments and uh, look early on because her get, first <laughs> guess was Mr. Toad. Apparently, and but here's the funny thing. It's probably not funny to them. It's probably like Jeopardy, where you had to wait until the entire... What is Mr. Yeah. Toad? Yeah, it may be. <laughs> so anyway, they had this question. She was like, what what, what am I, character am I thinking of? And she gave all these clues. What, and, no, it was what character might be out of place walking through bear country or something like that. I don't... Yeah, it yeah, was something. It was, yeah. So, and then she gave all these clues, and so I answered, I was like, oh, I bet it's Mr. Toad. I don't know, one of, something she said, just because it was a character that you don't normally think about. Um, well, she started it off with, uh, like, a, an animal. An animal. Right, there, yeah. and she didn't specify character, and so people are just, like, guessing cheetah and <laughs> insects. I mean, no. yeah, it was weird. But the thing is, is, so I guessed Mr. Toad, and then I waited, and I waited, and the more clues she gave, I was like, it's totally Mr. Toad. So I guessed Mr. Toad again. And yeah. there was a lot of people on there. They were viewing it all at the same time. Apparently, some there were some irate people on there. I don't know <laughs> what happened, but she had made a comment that, um, 
oh, something's going on in the chat, but the admins are taking care of it. So it's really not a big deal. It's all supposed to be for fun. Um, right. But I think I won. You totally won, but it's all for fun. And yeah. you know what? The person that won maybe needed that box to yeah. lift them so up a little bit. So congratulations to whoever did congratulations win. Congratulations. We are going to give something away today at the end of our show because we right. have a trivia question that we're going to yeah. ask. So, so if you've lasted 30 minutes in and you're just finding out about the giveaway... <laughs> tell your friends. <laughs> you might want to share this out. You might want to stay tuned till the end of the video um, for our trivia for question. Our trivia question. I would like to open my um, okay. package. So, you know, I know I get boxes already, <laughs> but Rob gets to open all these fun things on Saturdays, and so I decided I was going to open one too. Yeah, I picked this one out special. So this is from um, Amazon, right? Yeah, yeah, I got it from Amazon. I didn't <gasps> get it. This is yours. Uh-oh. I just put my hand in there and felt what it is. That one's yours. The other one's mine. You want to open it? Oh, go the ahead. eBay one is yours? Yeah, go ahead. Open right. it. Mm, yeah, mail. it's fine. What is it? What could it be? Oh. Oh. Oh, those are cool. Right? Yeah. They're get those so fun. Box. They um are pins, but... Those are awesome. I want to see the back. And my favorite. Yeah, they're the different. They're they're Star Wars pins made by Disney. They're not pin trading pins, but I'm sure yeah. they would let you trade them. But oh these are um, lapel pins. Oh. Don't those, doesn't that go in a tie? No, lapel. Oh. Lapel. You put them up here on oh. the lapel on a collared shirt. Okay, so that's why they're pointy. Okay, so they're lapel pins, yeah. and they're very fun Star Wars. Oh, I wouldn't be trading. I mean, you probably totally, they would probably let you trade them. And we have enough. Yeah. We could add. I'll just put a, some Mickey backs. Mickey back. Like, Maybe we should more. give away those Mickey backs. Yeah. Check that we, out. We figured out that we have like $300 worth of Mickey pin Right? Backs. I, who knew that like, you know, some people, you know, put their money in the stock market. Some, some, people, some people, you know, buy gold or silver. And uh, I found out that like ten a Mickey back is like a dollar a piece. Yeah, they're dollar a crazy. piece. Wow. Yeah. So there you go. Super you, excited now about you've that. Now you got a Cogsworth and some Star Wars pins. So oh, now, where's my package? All right. So let's get your package. Okay. Here. Oh, here's right. my package. Oh, there you go. Okay, this from is eBay. from eBay. Don't put our address on there. Oh. Yeah. We'll put our in. PO box in the in the description yeah. in case you just have things you know like Mickey or Walt signed checks that you, you don't want know to what send to do. us. We'll feature it on our. Yeah. We'll Rob, is there a scissors? I got a knife. Isn't this it? A... Oh, it has a. <laughs> it's child proof. Has a pull thing. <gasps> oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is an Alice in Wonderland pin starter. Nice. Right? That is pretty and it's cool. It's got Alice and the Queen of Hearts and the White Rabbit and Cheshire Cat. And I really love the lanyard. That's awesome. Yeah, so right over here, I don't know, you can see our we lanyard collections. So awesome. Well, that's fun. It's really fun. There's the cat. Uh, this is Calypso. Just, let me continue. From, From pirates. pirates. And we talked about pirates today. We did talk about pirates today. She's kind of moody. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. What is next? That was fun. I like that. Um, oh, yeah. You know, we did get some other merchandise. So while we were oh. at Target this week, <sighs> shopping for our daughter who's going away for college, we found that, you in know, like in the checkout. Weeks. I know. In the checkout. They always put things in the checkout because they want you. Product placement, right? Well, it's, uh, you know, impulse buying. Impulse buying. Which we impulse bought these. We did. <laughs> so, um, they're mini figurines. Now, we saw another Disney channel, Disney Merc. Shout out Disney Merc. 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 He um, was opening, they were bag clips, but they're mystery bag clips. Oh. I'm going to have to do some more research on what exactly they are. 
But it was so fun to watch him open those and look for the ones that he was trying to get. He didn't, I don't think, got the one he wanted. But um, so I saw these in the checkout, and they're mini Lego Disney figurines. But you don't know what's in there. So I thought, oh my gosh, how fun would it be to open some of these and see what we can get if we can get their Steamboat Mickey and Steamboat Minnie. Ooh. Like old, you know. There's Donald and Scrooge, and then there's new ones like... Um, Elsa and Anna, Chip and Dale. So let's open these and see what we got. We, we got four. We picked up four. We did. I'm totally going back to get more because I think these are so fun. And they're little Lego guys. They might become giveaways. So if that's something we'll that, see. That, that you, you know. Let's open um, them. I want to open them and see what they are. All right. I'm well, excited. I, I wonder guess if you have to put it together in order to figure out who it is. It's a figurine. It's Lego, though. I know, but I don't think you put together those. Oh, yeah. Oh, you do put it. Is there two in there? I think there's two in there. All right. Or well, is there just fun. one? Well, there's instructions. That's crazy. There's only one, I think. Yeah, there's only one. There is instructions. We're not going to put them together right now. That would be silly. Oh, it's a checklist of all the ones that oh, you can get. Oh, check Here, that I'll out. I'll show you. You um, take that out. So here's the little list of everybody that you can get. Okay, cool. So who did we get? Well, we got to take a look. I think uh, this is... Anna. Anna? I think it's Anna. So very cool. And you have to put them together. I didn't realize we were going to have to put them Okay, there she is. <laughs> She's in pieces. <laughs> okay, well, let's put them together later. Let's see who else we got. I think I can do this rather quickly. Here, you you open one. Okay, I'm going to open one. So if we get two Annas, we'll give one away. She have a she has a, like a little cape. Oh, that's weird. So Anna came in a little plastic bag inside. This one did not. It's just pieces. In here. Oh my gosh, in little pieces. Wow. There's little pieces. Is it not Anna? It's not Anna. Oh, that's good. Uh oh, you know who this is? Who? It's Sally. Sally? It's Sally from uh Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh. Well, she's in pieces. We'll put her together. I thought they were gonna come like already put together. Well, that's... that would that would not be Legos. Oh, well, I guess not. And then you not. can mix and match. So, you know, we can put different heads on different bodies. Okay, so we got Sally. Might be kind of fun. We have Sally and we have Anna. Who else? Oh, here, I'm almost done with her. Okay, see, it there takes a while to put them together. We don't. No, to... it really doesn't. I'm just trying to talk to and look and... Chew and chew gum and yeah. walk at the same time. Drink the coffee, you know. <gasps> Uh-oh. Is this one of my like, or one you're gonna like? It might. It's one of the boys. It's one of the boys. Huey, Dewey, or Louie. There she is. Check that out. Oh, she's yep. cute, and she has a cape. She does have a cape, and you know what? If she's you cute. are five or older, you can put these together. She's cute. I like that. I know. I mean, I it's pretty detailed. This yeah. is um Dewey. It's Dewey. One right, of the boys. I get to open the last okay, one. Okay, last one. So we so far we've gotten three different ones. Hopefully we've gotten Dewey. We get a, a fourth different one. Dewey. I always remember Dewey because he's blue like oh, dew we did get a water. Fourth different one. Oh, what did we get? Another cape guy. Is it Hercules? Oh, <gasps> it's Hercules. There he is. Hercules. I'm four, not gonna put this one. We got one Hercules. We got That's Hercules. awesome. So we got four different ones. That's awesome. Now I, we, we have checked to... them off. So now we just have 14 more to go. <laughs> I don't know. I'm excited about those. Sorry, no <laughs> giveaway on those today. I'm gonna have to get a new job, or the third job. It's All fine. Right. All right. So before Woo! we we also have our wishes candle, churro candle pin. That we got out oh, of our candle oh today. Oh my gosh, so much stuff going on today. I know. Hey, before we do that though, I do want to show you 
this because uh, if you've been on long enough, uh, you uh, have an opportunity to see that Shop Disney uh, ends tomorrow this free gift. So it's quacktastic. Choose a free gift when you spend $75 or more and enjoy free shipping too. Yeah. Code gift. Shop now. We don't get anything from that. We just found that. Thought that would be kind of cool to put that on there. Let you know. And you know the free Shop gifts are $25 Disney. items. Oh, they're, really? Yeah, they're, you get to pick. There's a lot of, oh, um, they're about 25 cool. 24 $25, $26 items. And there's a list that you get to pick from for your free gift. So you make your purchase. You get your free gift. You get to choose what that is. You get the free shipping on top of that. And guess what I got today from Shop Disney? <laughs> no, and not a delivery, an email. Oh, um, uh, it's my birthday month. Yes, it is your birthday month. So August. today, August 1st mm -hmm. through August 31st, it's we will be birthdays. celebrating. Yeah. But um, they sent me a 20% off coupon Oh, that I can use. So I, I think I can use it with this deal. So I'm excited about that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good deal. All right. So what were we talking so, about? So I wonder if you have to spend $75 to use my coupon. No. Well, no. If you use your coupon, coupon. Oh, yeah. Does the coupon take no, off? No. Yes. Yeah, so uh, you have to, you have to spend, spend seventy five. It can't. It has to be. Have after to give them seventy five cold cash after coupon. All right. Okay. So. Um, Herc is on a roll. Herc, <laughs> bless my soul. Herc is on a roll. Mm -hmm. Courtney um, is my sister, and that's her favorite <laughs> movie. So yeah. Um, we have a couple more things to talk about, so like and subscribe while you're sitting there. Share with your friends. Um, we've had Ooh. several people come in and out today, so um, that's We definitely awesome. appreciate you being here. Yeah, but, uh, you know, we're going to talk about, I don't know, let's talk about Comic-Con real quick. Okay, so, I don't really know much about this. She found this out, but... Uh, well, I found it out comment, because I'm online. Give us a thumbs up if you're a Comic-Con person. It's Disney's Comic Con. Yeah. So they just had it. It was all virtual. It was online, and they had some um, information that they released. So um, first of all, they um, it, have a whole bunch of different groups that get together, ABC, Hulu, Disney+, Plus, Lucasfilm, uh, Freeform, 20th Century Fox, uh, who am I missing? 20th Century Studios, Marvel, FX. So they all come together and they do panels and they talk about what's new oh, and wow. what's coming out. So a couple things. An original series that's coming out on Disney Plus is The Right Stuff. So that was a movie, oh, right? Yeah. And it's about uh, the story of America's first astronauts, the Mercury 7. Okay. And it's going to be a, a, a show. Really? And it's the very first kind of show like this. Um, National Geographic is actually doing oh. it. Did you know <laughs> that Disney owns National Geographic? I do know that. Huh. Disney does she own National She told me that Geographic. the other day. <laughs> so that's why this show and why a lot of National Geographic is on Disney+. Plus. Wow. So Discovery that's coming thing. out. Um, that's kind of exciting. I'm excited to watch that. I kind of like NASA and space. I do, too. I do, too. We're, uh, I, I thought about joining the Space Force. And um, have you seen Space Force? It's with the what's that, Steve Carell? Uh, yeah, from The Office. It's not as good as The Office, and it took a couple episodes to get into. There's some funny parts. It was, it was, I don't know if I'd watch it again. You know, if season two comes out, which it's supposedly gonna come out, I will watch it just for the continuation. And Steve Carell is still pretty funny, yeah, but it is nowhere near as funny as The Office, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So, um, <laughs> so Marvel was at Comic Con, okay. and they are talking about Empire. Mm. I think it's a movie, a Fantastic Four and Avengers story. Oh, really? Yeah. So, huh. um, apparently, they said it's going to quote have major ramifications for the Fantastic Four, for the cosmos, and for the Marvel universe. Well, so. you know, it, it kind of, I'm getting this vibe, this feeling. I don't know if you if y'all are getting this as well, but you know, I, I saw that Fantastic Four was released on Disney, Disney Plus or Netflix, um, and I'm hearing a lot of Fantastic. I'm wondering if they're gonna reboot like the Fantastic Four franchise. I, I don't know. Possibly. So yeah, this I don't know how they're gonna do it, but yeah. 
And then the last thing that I kind of picked up on was that Hulu is going to release um, a Marvel TV drama called called Hellstrom. Am I saying oh. that right? Right? Hellstrom. H e l s t r o m. Yeah. Yeah. Um, October sixteenth. So oh. a Marvel TV show is is coming out. Um, so it must be like a non Disney Marvel, maybe. Why wouldn't Disney release on Disney Plus? I don't know. I don't know, but huh. they're releasing it, and um, there's <sighs> there's a, a clip out there in the World Wide Web that you can you can watch to see what that's going to be about. If you're still quarantined and at home, you know, I mean, there's uh, just an unlimited amount of resources uh, that you can go to get entertainment or just see what's happening. So yeah, check out Hulu. Check out Hulu. And uh, let's let's talk about this real quick. D23. So I've seen a, a lot of people lately receiving their D23 annual boxes. Um, D23 is a fan club for Disney. Yeah. It started uh, way back in 2009, before we 2009. talked about it a few episodes ago. Yeah. And um, they this year we got the, the gold membership. And with that comes an, a box of merchandise. Right. We you know, you can go see our video about that. We unboxed it. Um, and I'm seeing a lot of people now, I don't know if they're just realizing it's out there or they're re-upping because they're home and they don't have anything else to do. And they're getting their annual box. They're the same for everybody. Um, but they also come, D23 membership comes with discounts. There so we go. Let's check this out. Yeah, and, and special limited release items. And this is something that, just recently came out with a limited release pin set. So you can only get it if you are a D23 member, gold member. Yeah, sign up for that D23. Yeah. It, it's pretty uh, It's pretty cool. You get a magazine four times a year that mm-hmm. it, uh, talks about, you know, Disney exclusive stuff. Uh, and then uh, also I saw, I saw somebody on YouTube the other day that said it, it uh, books your ticket or gives you your ticket. There's a conference that they have every other year. An expo. An expo uh, in Anaheim, and anybody can go. But as a D23 member, you you know you get certain perks and and whatnot. Well, you can and, uh, buy your tickets early, mm-hmm. and then there are discounts. Being a member on some hotels, there's discounts on um, some eating establishments and retail stores and that sort of thing. And they range from 10% to 50%. So uh, the Disney uh, Homestead Museum will give you 50% off of admission if you're a D23 Gold member. So we did not get these pins only because um, the only one I really liked was the Cherry Tree Lane. I really did want the Cherry Tree Lane, but I'm not a big fan of Zootopia, Zootopia. Uh, I don't know. I like the Monstropolis and Cuscotopia. Yeah. So I, I don't know. Let mm-hmm. us know which pin you like out of those four. And uh, if you think it'd be worth getting this set. I mean, obviously you've seen how many pins we have. and Yeah. We oh. are kind of big pin people. So Look who showed yeah. up. Check it out. What's up? <laughs> that's, that's all I got. All right. Appreciate you being here. And, uh, Straight from Happy, Happy Valley. Valley. Hey, Happy Valley. That's like in um, uh, no, uh, Fun and Fancy Free. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Happy yeah. Valley, Fun and yeah. Fancy Free. Uh, All right. st- I'm going to check my something. list. I want to make so, sure I um, everything. <laughs> do you have any Walt fanny packs? I, actually, yes, we do. We have Be two. careful, because if you say fanny pack over in Europe, it means something different. Um it does. Yeah. Don't say fanny pack. We do there. have people, a shout out to anybody that's watching our videos from the UK because mm-hmm. we did notice on our analytics that we are branching out into the UK. We have so, some UK followers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Pretty exciting. We, we call the fanny pack here in the United States, they call it a um, bum pack. A bum, bum pack. pack. Bum pack. So that's, that's more um, PG. You know, Google it. Yeah. That, we we'll, we'll, we'll go there. All right, and uh, <laughs> uh, shoot, there was something else I was going to say. I don't know what you're going to say. I don't remember. Oh, so before we do our trivia question, we got to see what was in our churros candle. Oh, this, you know what? I'm going to let you open it this really? week. Really? It's yeah, kind of got, okay. So I got wax on my fingers. Wishes Candle Company um, is pretty cool. They do their Disney-inspired candles, and 
we um, burned one that, oh yeah, that's birthday cake. That's mm. coming up. We haven't burned that one yet. Um, so we burned our Tiana inspired candle. It was green. It smelled like smells lemon pledge. So good. And our pin from that was a. It was an Ewok. An Ewok. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. And we'd seen some reports that the pins in here are scrappers, which means they're not like real pins. But that Ewok pin, I'm pretty sure it was real. I mean, I looked at it. It it looked like. There's a lot of wax on this one that I'm opening. So they come in foil, but then they also come in a little plastic baggie. Keeps the pin protected from the wax. Kind and, of. Yeah. And this one um, was from our churros candle that smells so good. And there's wax. That was the only candle when we did the smell test that I knew exactly mm -hmm. what it was as soon as she put it up to my nose. You did. Yeah. This um, little baggie did not last Outlast oh. the... Oh, cool. Oh. I love it. See, this isn't... I'm pretty sure this is not a scrapper pin. So, um, it's a little stitch. A little stitch. Should I get closer? Maybe. There you go. There yeah. we go. And awesome. on the back, it has the... Um, it has the Mickey heads on the back. It has... The stamp, the Disney. So, I don't know. But it's cute, huh. a cute little pin. Um, what are we going to burn next? I, I think we're going to go birthday cake next. Let's burn. We have, we because have it's my two. birthday month. And it's your birthday month. Happy birthday. Yeah, yeah. so we'll burn that and see. Not to we're... mention our anniversary is coming up on Friday. It so is. Hey, our P.O. We're... box will be in the description. In case you want to send us an anniversary. Anniversary, gift. 21 years. Yeah. Our marriage is old enough to drink now. It is. <laughs> and last year on today... Where were we? Do you remember? Uh, today, we were in France. In Nice. Yeah, in Nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then on our anniversary, on the 7th, we were flying back. So, yeah. 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 Well, good times. Not there this year. No. We're here with you, which yeah. is equally as exciting. It is. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So, our final. <laughs> I have not tasted the wax, but. Um, it smells good. I don't eat Tide Pods either. <laughs> yeah. All right, so here's our trivia question. All right, so if you've stayed with us for this whole 53 minutes so far, or 55 minutes, whatever we're at mm -hmm. now, uh, here's the trivia question, and we do have a giveaway. Let's show them what the giveaway is. I don't even remember what the giveaway is. Oh, this is so fun. A little Jiminy Cricket keychain. And it's really Jiminy not little. Cricket. It's like, what, four inches, three inches? Yeah. It's there a nice keychain, and it's a... Um, a Brito. So that's oh. kind of a popular brand right now. And they have like Jim Shore figurines in Brito. Oh, yeah. okay. So cool. it's not Jim Shore, but okay. Not Jim Shore. Here is. Here's the question. Now, wait a minute. Okay. Is this going to be live? Because, or do we want to like let this go out to the, uh, to, to the no, replays? It's for the people that are here. I think. All right. You know what? A giveaway live for anybody who's still on with us. If you get it, if you don't get it before we sign off, then I guess we'll have to go to then the we'll, replay. Then we'll put it on the replay. Yeah. All right. Let's okay. do that. All right. Here we go. Sounds good. Improvise, adapt, overcome. Remember what our on this day was today. So we talked about how um, Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, you, you go too far with the quiz. But go ahead. This is kind of a hard <laughs> trivia question. So it's kind of remember about that. Yeah. Here is the question. Today's trivia. What was the very first on-screen image ever to appear in an all-live-action Walt Disney Studios feature? Is she a reading teacher? I am. Let you notice how she, like, enunciated Let me repeat and it. paused <laughs> and read it slowly so all of you could understand? Wasn't that nice? $60,000 in education yeah, will do right? for you. Here we go. Here's the question one more time. What was the first on-screen image ever to appear in an all-live action Walt Disney Studios feature? So we're looking for the image that came up on the screen. Mm. Wow. It was the first time Disney had ever used an image in an all-live action feature. So it kind of started the movie out. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Anybody? We'll wait. That's that's a teacher <laughs> thing. I'll wait. 
I'll wait till everyone's quiet. I don't, oh. I don't do that, but. No. No, there's no waiting in my room. I, if you're not with me, you better get on the train and buckle in. I mean, who is still here? I mean, <laughs> is there anybody still online with you? If you're still online. There's a lot of people here. Yeah. It shows I, us. I totally appreciate you being here. This has been a lot of Ooh, fun. Ooh, good guess. Ooh, it is not a mouse. It is not a mouse. Sorry. Apparently he wasn't paying. T- oh, you know what? He came in late. Well, there could have been yeah. a mouse on a pirate ship. Yeah, it could have been. Could have been. I don't see much guessing. Gracious. Let's go. I keep being interrupted by these children <laughs> and people in the house. Oh. Court, guess. Well, maybe she needs the question again. Oh, the question, maybe she didn't hear the question. What was the very first, very first on-screen image ever to appear in an all-live-action Walt Disney Studios feature? It's not fireworks. Ooh, that would good be job, my Coach guess. Bela. Right? That would be my yeah, guess. That would I would be have mine. guessed, which I, it's not, or oh. fireworks, which it's not. It has uh. something to do. It's not a monkey. Carlos. <laughs> it I, love, it wasn't I love it. Carlos. Man, Coach Vela is over there just <laughs> t- 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 getting ready for school next week, right? Yeah, yeah you got to send out all those emails. Yeah. Not Carlos. Okay, oh. let, we'll have to give another clue. So, or let's review the clues. So, it has something to do with a pirate ship. <laughs> oh my gosh. Or pirates. Oh. Courtney, I thought it might have been the castle too, but it's not. Uh, she is just giving it away. It was. I didn't give it away. It's a hard one. It's an image. Uh, somebody's got to be googling it. It's right a now. symbol. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Come on, people, you can do it. Oh my goodness! It's a cool prize. You can get the Jiminy Cricket. Keychain. Check out this camera again, by the way. Sony ZV-1. Watch. We are in focus. Now that's in focus. Isn't that cool? Your I love camera's it. Your camera's very cool. Yeah. It's not an eye patch. It's not Ooh. a chest. Oh. We're getting, oh, it's oh. not the ship. Woo. Mickey, Mickey at, at the boat. You mean like Steamboat Willie? <laughs> no. Mickey at the boat whistling. <laughs> no. It's not. Yeah. Oh, that's actually a, that's not a bad guess. Yeah. So the, the difference here is the live Action. Live All action. live action. This means no animation. Ooh, not the medallion. It actually has nothing to do with Pirates of the Caribbean. Or Disney. <laughs> well. If you think about it. It was in a Disney, the very first live action Disney movie image. Yeah. Ooh, I told you, I told you this was going to be hard. This is hard. It's not a compass. It's not a ship. Looks like we're going over an hour. It's not an today. eye patch. Actually, we've been live for yep, fifth, almost an hour. Wow, that oh, is a great picture. Oh, here we picture. go. What's Let's see. Paging Mr. Oh. Morrow. Wow, that is a great picture. What's the they name of the camera? Your camera? It's the Sony ZV-1. It's uh it's it it was created for like vlogging mm-hmm. and it's got a lot of great features. I'm pretty excited about it. Our first live stream with it was a disaster. But once I figured out how to plug it in and give it the right charge, here we've been online for an hour, and so far, so good. Yeah. Um, at some point, the battery does die, and I don't. I does haven't figured that out. Does this thing work? Yet. Can you like do a clapping sound? Well, if I knew where the clapping sound was. Oh. <laughs> Gosh. Are any of those sounds? Yeah, those are all sounds. Push one. Let's see what it is. Well, we won't know. They will. Oh, okay. We're gonna push a button. You tell us what you hear. All right, there we go. What did What did you just hear? I hope there's nothing like. Oh <laughs> uh, no, it's a, it's all can sound. I know this one is like a song for you know a minute or so, but the rest of them I think are just short little sound clips. Um, it's did, fun. That's okay. that's my other uh, tool toy. that I not toy. Oh. Tools. We we have tools. Nobody tools. Gets, can guess what this is. All right. Oh. I am using an external mic, so as of right now, all I have is the uh, Rode Video Micro, right? So I got a Rode Video Micro, and it's got a special cord and a special plug uh, to go into my Rodecaster Pro. So we've got a nice little live stream set up here. I got a couple other things that I'm looking at purchasing. Since you're asking questions, I'm looking at purchasing the Blackmagic ATEM Mini Pro, which... 
hopefully here in the next month or so, uh, I'll be purchasing that, which will help the live stream process a little bit. So, yeah. Any other questions, you know, feel free to message me and uh, I'll uh, They didn't I'll hear anything. Up. Nothing laugh out loud, huh? Is this supposed to oh, be up? Yeah. <laughs> You're supposed to turn the volume up on it. Ah, there yeah. you go. That uh, should be playing a little something. Oh, now mm. it's done. There we go. What did you hear? So, because we can't hear it. I can't remember. I, I, it, it's you got should these label cool, those. Yeah, it's got these cool little labels I could write on it with like dry erase or something, but... I just haven't done that yet. A map. Right. No, nope, it wasn't a map. What we're, do we do we if got... nobody guesses? Well, Let, a couple more people have joined in, so I'm going to read the trivia again. Here's the question right. for the prize. The Jiminy Cricket. Brito keychain. Oh, it was there. chimes. Oh, it was chimes. Cool. Oh, nice. Okay, All here's right. the trivia question. What was the very first on-screen image ever to appear in an all-live-action Walt Disney Studios feature? So we're looking for the on-screen image in a live-action Walt Disney Studios feature. Was it a picture of what? I feel like we need to give more clues. Okay. Um, <sighs> uh, pirate. 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 Um, I'm going to give a clue that's about to give it away. Oh, my goodness gracious. I guess we are about to uh, give it, it away. It is impacted by the wind. Impacted well, by the I mean, wind. Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. You might... You're, you're going to need to be a little bit more specific, though. No, I don't want to... Give me more specific. Pirate. <laughs> wind. It's not the ship. What else could it be? Let's do another sound. I want to do another sound. All right. Let's see. What is that sound? Oh, that's a longer one. Is it stuck? No. No, it's counting down. Oh, how long does it go? Well, four more seconds. Tell me what that sound was. Oh. Oh. Oh, you are super oh, close. you're super close. So, but a little bit more specific. Bello. What kind? What was on the, What was on it? Oh, he's so close. He's he's frantically typing right now. We love it. Not sales. We got someone super close to getting it. I just need to know what's on <laughs> the item. What kind is it? I wish I knew what these sounds were. What's uh, on it? We're almost there. Oh, we got a new viewer. So okay, well, well, let's, let's see. Read another question. Here's, here it is. What was the very first uh, on-screen image ever to appear in an all-live action Walt Disney Studios feature? What Google else is on your it? friend. He got it. Okay. And, and for extra points. For extra points, what's it called? So wait, let's stop. Coach Vela, congratulations. We will send you the Jiminy Cricket. Uh, keychain and uh, but for extra points just for bragging rights what is it called so he said it was the skull and crossbones on the flag what what is that flag called you got it you already won but what yeah. what's that called what's the official term not Mickey flag <laughs> good guess though Court. <laughs> oh what my is goodness. the official term of the flag Yes, the Jolly Roger. Okay, nice and shot. And you got double points. You know what? Double I points. might just go ahead and uh, hand deliver this to you. Yeah, so. you can. Yeah, all right. It's a super cute keychain. <laughs> um, and that last sound was drums. Ooh. Said. Oh, drums. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Awesome. Uh, that one might be uh, a yay clapping. I don't know. Hopefully it was. So if that was If that job, was a Coach yay Vail. clapping sound, um, let us know. All right. You know what? That's been over an hour. I know. Um, so, so we think, talked about a lot, and we gave away a prize, and we showed all of our fun unboxing stuff. Oh, my gosh, you forgot to show them this. Oh, so we <laughs> it just keeps on going. Uh, so we, uh, a couple weeks ago, talked about our projects that we have in, uh, you know, in this time of quarantine and, and fun Disney stuff. So we were in our local grocery store. 
the H-E-B, or Heb, as some people know it. Harry E. Um, Butts. No yeah, joke. that's really his name. So we, we saw these hand sanitizers, and we started looking through the store. We found the box that they came in, and it was empty. So uh, we went to one of the store people and said, hey, can we what have this Charlotte? box? Charlotte. Yeah, Sh- thanks. Shout out Charlotte. She said, sure, take and, it. And uh, so I'm going to use this, or she's going to use it, one of us, so we can put pencils in it in our classroom. And uh, that should be kind of fun. Yeah. All so, right. It oh, that was the losing sound. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Dang um, it. Uh, yeah. Well, then this one must be the winner. Okay. Is that I don't know. Thing? That was a tough question, wasn't it? Yeah, it, it was. was. Super tough. I wanted to make it a little bit more tough. <laughs> I'm gonna maybe I'll try to go a little easier next time. We'll see. I'm labeling these for next week, so I know what sounds <laughs> they are. Um, but anyway, congratulations, Coach Vela, on winning the Jiminy Cricket Keychain. I think it's time to wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Grandpa Appreciate you all being here. Thanks for being here and spending your Saturday, maybe somewhat morning, afternoon with us. And uh, thank you for all your support and Disney connections. Check us out on Facebook. We're growing that uh, that that group over there where we're you know able to interact and share stuff with each other. Yeah. And um, you know we're here growing on YouTube. So if you haven't liked and subscribed yet and clicked the bell, all of those kind of things, uh, make sure you do that. Share it with your friends. Anybody that you know is just even partly a Disney fan, uh, we would love to uh, interact with them as well. We got some videos coming out this week, some unboxings. I think we got a Bibbidi Bobbidi and a Magic at Your Door. Mm-hmm. So uh, be looking for one of those videos to drop either on Monday or Wednesday. And um, and then join us again next weekend join on us Saturday. Again next weekend on Saturday, 1 p.m. Central, 11 Pacific Time, and 2 o'clock Eastern Time. Mm-hmm. Thanks so much for being here on Disney Connections, where we're going to talk about all things Disney. Bye.